Hi, this is Abe and I'm going to show you how to approximate areas under a curve. So here in this example, you see I've got this, this curve going on, f of x, in this uh, green line. And what I want is I want to find the area in here between A and B. This area in here. Okay, so how do you start? There's a lot of ways you could do it, but the way we're going to do it is that we're going to cut this thing up into rectangular strips and then approximate areas through there. So let's get into it. So what I can do is draw a series of rectangular lines like this. Right? And I could keep going along like that. And you'd end up finishing there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the height of all of these strips times the width of all of these strips, add them all up, and bang, got the area. Pretty easy, isn't it? Pretty easy. So, let's um, have a quick think of how we might want to do this. So, first of all, um, I need to choose how many strips, right? So, how many strips? Let's do n strips strips n strips so n just whatever number you decide and so width of each strip is going to be well the total distance note that this total distance here is just b minus a right so the total distance is b minus a. So total distance divided by number of strips b minus a over n is the width of each strip. Okay, so now that you have the width of each strip, all you want is the height of each strip. Now let's say that I just take the left value for each strip. So for instance, let's focus on this one here. This is our first one, this strip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, okay, this is the left, go like that. And this is my area, like so. Okay? Now, that is an okay approximation for the area under the curve for that little bit. But let's just stick with it for now. So if I were to do this, right, and I'll continue to draw this, like that, like that, and so on, right, and you add up all of these areas, and you continue to do this. Now, when it gets to here, we're still doing left, so we're over a little bit, like that, and then like that. And then, so if you add up all of these areas, you can find the area under the curve. Okay, so what is the height of each strip? Let's um, designate these x values, okay? So I'm going to call this value here x0, the very first one. So x0 is equal to a. This one can be x1, x2, x3, so on, blah, 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 blah. All the way over here, you got x of n minus 2. This one here is x of n minus 1. And this one right here on the end is x of n. Okay. So we know that at these x values, um, you can get the height of your curve just by putting it in f, right? So for instance, I know that this point here, this point is simply x0 f of x0 because we're on the curve f of x pretty simple right pretty simple okay so that's our little illustration and so basically to put things together um, what we're doing here is called the left endpoint estimate and if you see what's going on so for each one um, each strip, we've got this going on. 
we've got width times height, which is, the width, remember, is B minus A over N. The height is, well, simply F of X, X of whatever, right? I'm just going to go X zero for the first one. So it's B minus A over N times F of X zero. And then you repeat that for X zero, X one, X two, etc. Okay. So then onto some formulas. So, like I mentioned before, this is called the left endpoint estimate because we're taking the height at the left of the rectangle. And remember, remember, right, that we're adding up all these things. And remember back here that each, each term, each of these things is going to look something like that, yeah? So what you do is you add them all up. So you're going to get B minus A on N times F of X zero plus B minus A on N times F of X one plus, and it goes on, right? And then the last one is B minus A on N by F of X of N minus 1. Not quite X of N, because if you see over here in the diagram, X of N, this thing, is actually not used. Because remember, we're, for this last rectangle, we're looking at um, the left height. So we're looking at x of n minus 1. We're not looking at x of n at all. Okay, so so we can put this up in a nice kind of way. We can call this left endpoint estimate is equal to b minus a over n. And all I'm going to do is just factorize a little bit. So you can take out b minus a on n of all of these. And you can do x, f of x0 plus f of x1 plus all the f's in between, and the last one is f of x in minus 1. Like that. Perfect. Really good. Okay. Now, obviously, that's one way to estimate. What's the second way? Well, we could go back to our page. And we could, instead of using the left, we could use the right. So for instance, for this first strip, instead of taking, so this, this first strip inside the red circle, instead of taking the left, if we take the right, we're going to have something like this. Right? So that's our area. And we can shade it like that. So suddenly it includes all of that area. And similarly, if you add these, you can shade it. and so on. So you see that if we take the right end of the rectangle instead of the left end, you get a different estimate. And so noticing that with the left, if you take the right end, your strips are all still going to look similar, but you start at x1 and you'd finish at x of n. Notice that for the left endpoint estimate, you start at x0 and finished at x of n minus 1. So, if you go through the same method, you can see that with the right endpoint estimate, with the right endpoint estimate, what you'll get is going to be very similar looking. So again, the width hasn't changed, but you start at f of x1, right? Instead of f of x0, plus f of x2, 
plus blah 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 and then f of x n so there you go two ways to approximate areas under curves i hope you've enjoyed yourself i'll see you next time